Hello everybody and welcome back to our base for episode 7 of our factorial let's play. I said today we'd start with a little tour so we're going to do just that. We've got a good little factory going here with a, with a few little outposts. Just delete that. That was from last, uh, last episode. So we've got a good little bit here. We've got power set up on the left hand side of our base with a big wall around the outside. And down the right and bottom as well. We've got biters attacking our call outpost. We should go deal with that. <clears throat> Forgive my voice, sorry. We've got a little bit of red and green signs here. And that is helping us research. Speaking of which, we're not currently doing anything. Which is a no-no in my eyes. Let's get something researching. What do we need? I think we could go with the tool belt, that'll give us a bit more inventory space. Not that we need it right now. Um, so yeah, everything that makes science packs is here. Now we've got a little gun turret production. Oh, that's keeping us fed all around the map. Oh, something's getting damaged up here. Is it okay? It looks to be. So hopefully at some point soon we're going to start feeding these turrets um, some piercing rounds. And that's why we've built the steel. We've got it coming in here. I think this episode we're going to focus on a few things that require steel for production. So let's grab some belts. I'll take you out there and show off our steel production that we built last episode. So we're just going to take this transport belt all the way out into the desert to line up with our steel. Which we have coming out of that little uh, outpost over here. And we'll deal with that in a second because something is getting destroyed. Oh, lots of some things are getting destroyed. Dear, they've breached the base. That's not ideal. Okay, so let's uh, do a little bit of repairs while we're here. Maybe up the defences too. So this is our coal mining setup. It's got a, a like a rotary belt for the ammo, and that gets dropped off just by me right now. But eventually, once all our outposts start using uh, railways, that'll that'll be how that's delivered. So let's fix up this side here too. Looks like we've got a little wave going in towards our base, although that might be an old scan. Everything going all the way around? Yeah, okay. Just need a few more turrets, I think. One and one. One and one. There we go, one there. There we go. There we are. And that'll keep us a bit more defended on this side. In fact, let's get one or two down here too. There we go, so that should keep us safer. And let's head back up here and you'll uh, you'll be able to see the smell and setup. So so far I've only set up one column of it. It's eventually gonna be three belts of steel coming out of there. Oh, and look at that, I timed it just perfectly. And we're just going to do a few little odd jobs around the base, including making this path a bit longer. There we go, bring that down here. So here's our iron outpost. Um, Similar to the coal, it's got like a rotary conveyor. And we're going to drop off a bit more ammo to that because I'm noticing the belt is still moving, which is just not good enough. If the belt hasn't stopped, it's not full. So let's head back to the base now. And we are going to set up a production of some engine units so we can make a car because these engine units can only be made in an assembler machine um, because of how many re ingredients they require so we need this steel which has just arrived thankfully 
and we're gonna run it up into the base somewhere so I brought it over here to our little uh, shopping center sort of thing we've got going on of course I'm missing underground belts just craft a bunch of them there we go And we'll bring this around this side. And things that require steel will go over here. So what do we need? We need engines. Which needs an iron, a gear, and a steel. So that'll be perfect. That can go right here. And then to make that into a car, we need a bit more steel and a bit more iron. So in fact... If we do it like, oh, we've got a bit more research done, lovely. I think actually what I'm going to do is separate this belt in two. And just have steel on one side and I'm going to put the iron on the other side because we're not going to be making a whole lot of stuff in here that we're going to be taking. So I'll keep that nice and fed and then these machines I'm going to make so we need to bring gears around so this one will make engines and this one will make a car. And then with a bit of luck, that should set everything into motion. And I should be able to put them and them to get cars and engines. I'm going to limit it to one stack of cars, because that's just one car. And two stacks of engines, just in case we need them for anything. Maybe crafting trains later on, you need quite a few. So if you want to make a couple of trains in one go, it's easier just to have them on hand there. And I am a tool. Apparently you also need pipes to make engines. So let's just grab a few more assembly machine Mark IIs. And what we can do with this is something quite cool, I think. We can put a long-handed insert at the end of this belt here and then there we can make pipes in this one and cart them all the way across the belt into that one because we won't need them too much but we are however going to stockpile these cap that at so many stacks. This is going to make underground. Oh, something's getting destroyed. Is our wall locker down there? Oh, and to the left. I think down there is okay. I think over here is still struggling. No, nope, we're both good. We'll repair this though while we're over here. Oh, this has taken quite a beating, hasn't it? So, even though I've added a few extra guns over here, I'm still not feeling like it's quite enough. So I might add an extra one to each sort of little emplacement here. So there we go, so I've added a few more turrets here. Let's add a few lights too. Oh, and we've got a lovely research done. Ah, so now we can start on oil processing. And we'll head back to... Oh, we didn't fill in the wall. I'll fill that in and we'll head back to the 
personal manufacturing. And we'll add up a few more things onto there. There we go, so we're back over here and we're going to connect up the underground pipes. Let's give them a stockpile too. There we go, and eventually that will just fill up. Now what else do we want? We want piercing rounds just to come and grab any time. So that needs copper, steel and firearm magazines. So firearm magazines we make over here, but we can be a bit sneaky. You can bring them all the way out under here. Bring them down here. And I can take this copper up. So far, there we go. Oh, it's a little bit less ugly if I do it like that. And I can then put down a couple of these. Maybe one there and one there? No. There we go. So then we also need steel from the other side. I'll put it there, there we go. And then we just want to put these in here. We'll cap that there. So there we go, see we've got a car in here. What we need for cars is we need a little bit of fuel. So I'll show you how they work. Plop it down, and it's complaining no fuel, that's what this icon means. And they take anything burnable, so you can even stick wood in here. And that will do just fine. So let's pick us a nice colour. There we go. Nice little mint green buggy. And we'll come up here. There's already a few rounds in here. And you notice how they've gone straight into the gun turret. Now what I'm going to do is actually put those in there because they'll do a lot more damage from the car than they will from my uh, handgun. So we're going to gather up a little bit of ammo here. And then we're going to head out into the world and try and kill some biters. Get a bit of revenge. Because they're already trying to nibble at my wall here. So I'll fix that up while we get some more ammo. So I've also set up some grenades to be crafted here. And that's going to be uh, probably quite slow, but we'll have to, we'll have to see. Okay, so that's ready again. It's mostly the coal that was the issue, but we've got a fast inserter on there. In fact, I don't think we needed a fast inserter. I think it was just how long it took to get going in the first place. But we'll just double check. So if it has enough ingredients ready for the next one by the time you've uh, crafted it, then you know it's never ever going to be waiting on ingredients. So it's literally exactly the right amount of time this is going to be operating non-stop but that's fine we've got some rounds there, a few grenades here craft a few more on, on hand just because why not cripple the machines for a second there all good and groovy and we'll head out into the world and we'll head out into this rock being in my existence. Oh, shouldn't drive through the factory. It's a bad idea, guys. I'm gonna do it anyway. Also, it shouldn't leave rocks all over your factory. Like I said, rocks are the enemy of progress. 
So, let's see, where do we want to head first? The world is our oyster. So I think I'm going to try and tackle maybe some of these smaller bases up here. Start out, uh, start out nice and easy, just to get the hang of this. Been a while since I've played this early game aggression. Normally I just sit and let them plink off my walls for a while, but they're doing my head in today. So I kind of want to just go and deal with them. So where, oh where, oh where is biters? There they are. Just more than that. There we go. Just wipe them all out nice and quick. And you see how much faster that is than usual. See how much more damage the, uh, the car turret did rather than my uh, gun. And I didn't have to use any grenades there at all, which is nice. I have a feeling like this base being a bit bigger. Maybe a bit of a different story. But you notice how effective it is for wiping out the biters. Fling them all in there. Kill all the worms. There we go. Wipe them all out and just hop back out and repair up again. Now let's head off somewhere else. Where should we go? So we're always getting attacked from the bottom of our base. Blooming rocks. I swear to God. Nothing I hate in this game more than rocks. So we'll head out there. See what we're dealing with. And we've got 67 ammo still, so we've got a little bit left. Came out here with about 100 or so. So it looks like we're using about 20 a base at the minute. Depends how grenade heavy I'm going though. Oh, that was a bit dangerous. Well, we seem to be over the worst of it. Just clean up now. There we go. Take out the last few little bleeders who refuse to die, and we'll heal up just in sight of this big base. Get a good eye on that. So we've got a couple of uh, couple of nests there, and I don't think I've quite got enough to deal with that, especially with no grenades. But that's. That's all right. We'll just head back and we'll grab a few more. I'm gonna do the sensible thing. I'm gonna park the car up here and head out on foot. But we can follow this convenient steel belt all the way back because this steel belt currently pretty much only supplies the ammo and the cars, so can't really go wrong. 89 rounds there, lovely. So it looks like we might need fast inserters on here. Just to ramp up that copper there, because that's not grabbing enough fast enough. And in fact, we'll just give it an extra helping hand, we'll stick an extra one on each. There we go. So we've got 99 on us, so many in the car already. That'll be grand. Oh, and we've got an attack right now. But they've already dealt with it. Too late to the party, yeah. Oh, and we didn't grab any grenades, did we? What an idiot. Okay, I'm going to take the car. We'll take a safe route. There isn't really a safe route, is there? So we'll head up through the middle here. That's what I get for trying to check my phone while I'm driving. Oh, see? All over the place, like a maniac. And I'll head back out there now. Okay, so there was quite a big base down here at the bottom of the base, wasn't there? Let's start taking this bad boy out. I didn't realise how close this was to us. It's probably been causing us quite a lot of our headaches. And it's not so much the fact that they attack you, it's the fact that right now, until we get logistics and construction robots, 
We have no way of automatically repairing our stuff, you know what I mean? You can't just give an inserter a repair pack and say, have at it, mate. Because it's not going to know what to do with it. This is getting annoying now. Bored of you, bored of you, bored of you, bored of you. Bored of you, especially. Easy, there we go. Let's run him over, finish off the wave. I think we'll go take out that one more base down there, and then we'll see where we're at. So let's hop back in the car. Oh, there's two bases next to each other. We'll do a double whammy. Oh, you had an attack force. Had. Oh, we just pure shunted that base out of existence. This is getting attacked, but we seem to be okay. And take out all these worms. It's a lot of worms, holy heck. There we go, we've taken them guys out. Let's hop out the whip, repair the car up, hop back in, and we've still got, s oh nice, nice, let's see how many, uh... oh see, so we've got an attack up there to the left of the base, let's head up there, got a pit stop drive by base, boom, 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 Oh, they do not like that. They do not like that one bit. Wah, wah, wah. It sucks to be them, doesn't it? So let's... Let's get a shifty on up this way, and I think that's the base that's been causing us problems. Here it is. Take out the herd. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear, I've been hit. Oh dear, see we've lost the car. Oh, we'll have to make a desperate run for it back to base. I think we're going to be okay though. So we've let ourselves back into the base, shamefully, through the side door because we come carrying news of defeat. Grab up a bit more coal for the next car. But I think we're going to call this episode early today, guys. Um, I don't have a huge amount of time and I haven't got a video up this week and I really need one. So I will speak to you guys in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this little, slightly shorter burst of adventure. We've dealt with quite a lot of bases though today. We've cleaned out a good amount of this area. Um, I will, uh, I'll do a highlights reel at the beginning of the next episode of me taking out all of, all of these bases that are still within our pollution. You can get to see the best of, as I ride around the map, exploding things with no end. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you later. Bye.